Okay, so right now we are in a little RV park called Three Rivers Hideaway at the base of Sequoia National Forest and Sequoia National Park as well as it's called King's King's something National Park. I hadn't heard of it until I looked up Sequoia National Park and it's in the same area. What we're dealing with though is that situation. So when we were packing up our RV to leave from Las Vegas to come here, our landing gear on the passenger side of the RV broke. So it's like, a, I don't know. It's not a hydraulic system, so it's a mechanical problem, but it's with like keeping the RV supported. So huge issue. We have a bottle jack keeping it up right now, which is plenty enough to do the job. But I just, I hate leaving the RV here and going into the national park, even though that's what we came here for. So we're going to try to make a quick trip of it and then get the RV back connected to the truck because having the truck connected via the hitch means having more stability in case the bottle jack just fails or something like that even though it's brand new um, you just you never know it could happen so I'm really wishing we had one of those tripod stands for the fifth wheel hitch right now just to give some extra support but we don't have that luxury so yes we are headed in to the national park with a little bit of anxiety because of this whole situation. Um, the insurance adjuster is gonna come out tomorrow to basically give us a quote for how much they will pay out for this to get fixed. Plus the fender getting half torn off when we had that tire issue. Um, so he's gonna do the adjustment on both of those at the same time so we can get them fixed tomorrow after we leave this park. So that's where we're at right now. Now, let's go and have some fun. here at one of the viewing platforms in Sequoia National Park and that is our view it's pretty good it's another probably 14 miles up to where we can catch the first shuttle and then we're gonna hop on a shuttle and explore the park that way so we don't have to drive and we can just enjoy the views Climb to the top of Moro Rock. We're at an elevation of what is it 6,075? What? 6,750 feet. And we have 
panoramic views of Sequoia National Park and the valley below. We're actually camped right down there. <sighs> it's a hike to get up, but it's definitely worth it. It's a heck of a climb, ain't it? <laughs> You're almost there. is called the General Sherman tree. It is the largest tree in the entire world. It is 275 feet tall. It says each year General Sherman's tree trunk gains enough new wood to equal a very large tree of most other species. So it's continually growing. Look at this thing. That is one massive tree. section of a giant sequoia and it is absolutely huge. Let me show you this. So <laughs> apparently you can read like how many fires and everything this tree has survived with how burned certain sections of the rings are and this specific tree survived over 80 fires and lived over 2,210 years. Pretty cool. Sequoia National Park is one of those parks that is always crowded in the summertime. There have been crazy crowds here today. It's been hard even getting a seat on a shuttle bus, but it's definitely worth the drive if you're ever in the Southern California area to come by here. Definitely come by Sequoia National Park. We are actually going to go on a little hike a second one. This one's gonna be much flatter. It's just an area with a ton of huge trees just like this but a little bit smaller and then we're gonna head back to the RV because we have repairs first thing in the morning. So let's go on our hike and then head off to bed. We were gonna go on Big Tree's trail. However, just realized time, it takes another hour to get out of the park because it's a 25 mile per hour zone and it's about 20 miles to the bottom um, and then into our campsite and everything. So we're just gonna head out, make sure the puppies are okay, take them potty, and then might have a little surprise for you. So hang on.
So, here's the conundrum. We were going to go do that secret thing that I hinted about earlier. Oh man. <sighs> we have had such a long week and even a long day. I, just, I don't know if you can, if you can do it. <laughs> I was looking at Shane and saying, I'm, I'm so tired. I don't know if you can do it. Can do it. I can do it. So we're gonna sit here and ponder for a while while the dogs do this. 